K tutorial number 1, Defining Lambda, lesson 5. We have already added the built-in identifiers of sort ID to lambda expressions, but those had no operations on them. Note that substitution is not built-in, it is a predefined operation defined also in K. In this lesson, we add integers and booleans to lambda and extend the built-in operations on them into corresponding operations on lambda expressions. We will also learn how to add side conditions to rules to limit the number of instances where they can apply. The K tool provides several built-ins, which are automatically included in all definitions. These can be used in the languages that we define, typically by including them in the desired syntactic categories. For example, to add integers and booleans as values to our lambda, we have to add the shown productions. Int and bool are the non-terminals that correspond to these built-ins. To make use of these built-ins, we have to add some arithmetic operation constructs to our language. We prefer to use the conventional infix notation for this, and usual precedences. That is, multiplication and division bind tighter than addition, which binds tighter than relational operators. Inspired from SDF, we use the larger than symbol instead of vertical bar to state that all the previous constructs bind tighter than all the subsequent ones. The only thing left is to link the lambda arithmetic operations to the corresponding built-in operations when their arguments are evaluated. This can be easily done using trivial read rules as shown in the editor window. In general, the K tool attempts to uniformly add the corresponding built-in name as a suffix to all the operations over built-ins. For example, the addition over integers is an infix operation named plus int. Compile the new lambda.k definition and evaluate some simple arithmetic expressions. For example, if arithmetic.lambda is 1 plus 2 times 3 by 4 less than or equal to 1, then k run arithmetic.lambda yields as expected the shown configuration. Note that the parser took the desired operation precedence into account. Let us now try to evaluate an expression which performs a wrong computation, namely division by 0. Consider the expression arithmetic div 0 dot lambda, which is 1 divided by 2 divided by 3. Since division is strict and 2 by 3 evaluates to 0, this expression reduces to 1 divided by 0, which further reduces to 1 divided in the integer domain by 0 by the rule for division, which is now stuck with the current mode backend for the k-tool. In fact, depending upon the backend we use to execute k definitions and in particular to evaluate expressions over built-ins, 1 divided in the integer domain by 0 can evaluate to anything. It just happens that the current mode backend keeps it as an irreducible term. Other backends, including future mode backends, may reduce it to an explicit error element or issue a segmentation fold followed by a core dump or throw an exception and so on and so forth. To avoid requesting the backend to perform an illegal operation, we may use a side condition in the rule for division to make sure it only applies when the denominator is non-zero. Side conditions can only be Boolean expressions in K, which can be fully evaluated within the underlying mathematical domains, which can be extended by the user, as we will see in future lessons. Side conditions cannot refer to user-defined syntactic language constructs whose semantics is defined using K rules, because the K writing machinery is not used for evaluating the side conditions. In other words, the K side conditions are not premises. In particular, they cannot contain other rewrites in them using the rewrite symbol. This contrasts modern write engines like mod, which allow conditional rules with rewrites in conditions. The rationale behind this deliberate restriction in K is twofold. On the one hand, general conditional rules require a complex and thus slower write engine, which starts recursive, sometimes exhaustive rewrite sessions to resolve the rewrites in conditions. In contrast, the side conditions in K can be evaluated efficiently by backends, for example by evaluating built-in expressions and or by calling built-in functions. On the other hand, the semantic definitional philosophy of K is that rule premises are unnecessary, so there is no need to provide support for them in K. The above is all interesting and useful, but writing programs with just lambda and arithmetic constructs is still a pain. In the next two lessons, we will add lead binding and conditional constructs which will allow us to write nicer programs.